Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds have revealed the newest addition to their family. The Wrexham co-owner and his wife took selfies with their newborn baby prior to the Vanarama National League match between Wrexham and York City at the race course ground on Saturday in Wrexham, Wales. Two of the three couple's daughters were also seen in a few of the snapshots. Blake and Ryan were also spotted watching the game with their friend and fellow Wrexham co-owner Rob McElhaney. The 35-year-old Gossip Girl alum and the 46-year-old Free Guy actor tied the knot back in 2012, and they are parents to three daughters, 9-year-old James, 7-year-old Inez, and 3-year-old Betty, and revealed they were expecting their fourth little one last fall. The couple clearly love being parents. In November 2022, the Deadpool star even had a piece of home with him at the American Cinematique Awards. On the red carpet, he showed Axis Hollywood's Scott Evans the meaningful jewelry he was wearing. What's up, baby? Hello, my friend. How, How you doing? Doing very well. How about you? You as well, man. You. I'm digging the suit. I'm digging the look. Oh, right? Great. We stepped up. We stepped out tonight. I, I, if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't mind, there's a bracelet on your arm. I want to know a little oh. bit more about well, this. Go, my kids made me yes. bracelets. I know, and I would, I would be foolish to not wear them. But I love. Yeah, my daughter spelled Dad D V D which I think is weirdly like a double entendre for my job. There you go. I guess. See? Brilliant. 12 years ago. But yeah. Ahead of her time. Right. Ahead of her time. Behind. OK, well, I guess technically. Yeah, yeah. But you okay. know, it all comes back. Yeah, it's not laser disc. I mean, that would be that something. Would be so really yeah. Good. Ooh, yeah. iffy there. Um, the, the honor tonight, joining the likes of Clooney, McConaughey, you know what I mean? Would you have ever imagined at the beginning of your career that this would be the room, this would be the fraternity you'd belong to? You know what? I had the lowest of expectations for myself, <laughs> which actually kind of made all of this weirdly uh, digestible. I mean, my career was like very sort of slow. I was an aggregate. It wasn't something that was like meteoric. I was never somebody who had this overnight thing. Um, and I'm grateful for it. It's actually helped me keep my head screwed on right. Um, but no, I would never imagine something like this. Even after this event tonight, I will still never imagine something like this is going to happen. So. I love it. It's really cool to also know that some of the people who are involved in your roast tonight, I mean, the toast to you yes. tonight. Uh, is Blake's speech going to be roast or toast, do you think? I I would guess it's going to be somewhere in between, okay. but it might. I, you, I, Did she run anything by you? No, nothing. But if she's one thing, she's if she's one thing, she's unpredictable. Okay. So I don't. I don't know. Oh snap! Yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, last question, brother. The epic holiday photo. Right. Yeah. Have you planned, has there been a revenge plot? Can you let well, me in on anything? I'll tell you something. This sweater has turned into a, like, a wild money generator for Sick Kids Foundation in Toronto. It is the face of, of, their, of the Christmas campaign. So I'm super grateful to Hugh Jackman for pranking me with this because it's turned into this beast for good. So that sweater, this year we have a lot of fun hijinks planned with that sweater for Sick Kids Foundation in Toronto, which is near and dear to my heart. So, yeah.